Well, as you might know, I wrote a book on that subject. It's called Becoming the Evidence-Based Manager, so I should put that little plug in as a free advertisement. Uh, sure, you're welcome. <laughs> now, having said that, the person you should ask that question to is Denise Rousseau. She's an excellent speaker, and uh, you might consider having her as a guest sometime in, uh, for a PSYOPSA conference. Now, I do have an answer, and it's probably a little bit different from hers. I think it's a relatively straightforward answer. Practitioners need to really look at meta-analysis rather than rely on one piece of scientific evidence. I think practitioners should be looking for uh, convergent validity in scientific findings. I think scientists, academics, have a moral obligation to translate their findings in outlets such as organizational dynamics. Now with transparency, I'm the editor. <laughs> that journal, Organizational Dynamics, has existed, I believe, since the late 60s, and it's written for one audience, managers slash MBA students. So academics have a moral responsibility, in my view, to make their findings available to practitioners written in straightforward, meaningful, memorable language. And practitioners have a moral responsibility not to simply be winging it with their clients, rather be up to date on the literature, meta-analyses, findings with convergent validity, and applying those findings with their clients. That's evidence, as opposed to idiosyncratic beliefs and what have you.